Hi, I'm Paul Fleischman, and I'm going to answer the question, what skill do you need more than any other to be able to write your own stories and even whole books? I think the answer to that is brainstorming. That's the ability to invent things, to come up with characters, plots, scenes, dialogue. If you're going to write a story about a kid detective solving a jewel theft, well, you're going to need to figure out if this is, kid is a boy or a girl, who's in his or her family, um, how does somebody ever get to that jewel, which is on an island patrolled by crocodiles. You need answers to all of those things. Interestingly, you want a lot of possible answers. There's no right answer to any of these questions. And so the way you solve it is by generating lots and lots of possible answers. Why do you want more than one? Because if you just pick the first one that pops into your head, there might be better ones out there waiting. So you want to come up with a lot of them. One of the best ways to practice brainstorming is actually through art. And one of the best art projects for doing it is designing variations on letters. Let me show you with the letter A. So there's an A. And when you're brainstorming, you want to keep asking yourself the question, what could be different? What could be different from that? I could make those straight lines into dashed lines. What else could be different? I could make those lines wavy. What else could be different? I could go back to straight lines, but have the A slant. What else could be different? Back to the standard A, what's different? Serifs. There's five A's. I learned about this project from my great friend Kathy Chilton. She's a calligrapher and calligraphers turn letters into art. And among calligraphers, sometimes they do something called the 100 letter marathon. It's a great example of visual brainstorming, artistic brainstorming. They try to come up with 100 different examples of a particular letter. It doesn't have to be A. You could use the letters in your own name. Um, Kathy and her friends, and she has a group of calligraphers, put their A's into a book. And you can see from this how many different styles there are out there waiting to be invented. I love the one that she did of the dachshund holding its leash. Across from that one over here is one that looks a little like a Hebrew letter, a little like Chinese characters. And it was done by another friend of mine in the group, Mike Gold. A few years after this book came out, I began thinking about my own book called Alpha Maniacs because it's about people who do very unusual, interesting things with language. And Mike did the 100 letter marathon, but after he finished it, he didn't want to stop. He had more ideas. And so he got to 200 letters, 300 letters, 400 letters, 500 letters. How far did he get? You'll have to read the book to find out. In the meantime, have fun designing your own letters. Happy brainstorming. Bye-bye.